بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اسلام ايها الاحبه اسلام is the faith for all of mankind and islam teaches us from the quran and from the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we shouldn't distinguish between our color, our race, our nation or our tribe, but rather that it is God fearfulness that distinguishes us. And that's what makes us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayyul habba that same principle or ideal is manifested all throughout Islam and that Islam is a complete way of life a complete system and the brotherhood in Islam is based upon the creed of Islam it's based on people from various walks of life various social status various colors various nations coming together to worship Allah alone the one who created the heavens and earth and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wama khalaqtu al-jinn wal insa illa li'abudun he says that verily i have created i have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping you letting us know that this is our divine purpose that we're all created for this purpose and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran as well ya ayyuhan nas inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'in lita'arrafu inna akramakum 'inda Allah atqaakum inna Allah 'alimun khabir ayyuha al-habba Allah says also in the Quran o mankind Indeed we have created you from male and female and made you peoples or various peoples and tribes that you may know one another indeed the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you indeed Allah is knowing is all knowing and acquainted with what you do this ayat has many benefits this verse of the Quran has many benefits for us for one Allah addresses all of mankind he says oh mankind indeed we have created you from male and female Allah created us from male and female and he made you various peoples and tribes so that you you would know one another and then he says indeed the most noble of you in the sight of Allah so this is how we should have as our scale to look at the nobility of a person not because of their social status not because of their race not because of their nationality not because of their kingship or what have you but their nobility comes from their righteousness and from their god fearfulness and indeed Allah is all knowing and acquainted with all that you do so this shows us here that we're created in nations and tribes so that we will get to know one another and not exhibit hatred and prejudice and racism and think that we're better than one another based upon those attributes that we have no control over but rather we're united as a human family as Allah addresses us all mankind and what distinguishes us is our god fearfulness do we do the commands of allah and avoid the prohibitions and those are just some of the things we should be concerned with in establishing true brotherhood wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam